Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to design the right gear of our hydraulic claw, just like the parts seen here. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's come on up to File, and we'll start a new design. All right, next thing we want to do now is come on over to Utilities here, and we're going to do an add-in. So we're going to click on Add-ins, and we're going to start, uh, we're going to click on Scripts and Add-ins, and we're going to start our spur gear generator here. So I'm going to click there and select Run. So this will automatically create a gear for us, which is kind of nice, right? So the first thing you want to do is make sure we're using English and a pressure angle of 20 degrees. For our diametrical pitch now, we want to set that to 12. And for our number of teeth, we'll leave it as 24. For backlash, 0. Root fillet radius, now we want to set that to 0 0.008. Gear thickness, uh, 1 8, just like all of our other parts, 0.125 inches. Okay, and then for our hole diameter, all right, we want that to be uh, 0.11 inches. Okay, and then let's go ahead and select OK. And here's our gear. But we're not quite done yet. We need to make an arm that extends outward from here. So really quick over here, I'm going to go down to sketches and I'm going to turn off this. This is the pitch circle, we call it, of a gear. And... This is this line represents where our teeth will make contact. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility on that. And I now I'm going to come back to solid here, and I'm going to start a sketch here on this surface. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to create, and we're going to create a two-point center rectangle. Okay, and we're going to click here, and we're going to just drag out something. Oh, that looks like this. And then we're going to grab our line tool and we're going to drag a line across here. And then we're going to trim all this other stuff over here. So trim, 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 and trim. All right. So you have something like this left. Now let's go ahead and dimension here. So we want to zoom in. I'm going to click on the center point here of our gear from here to the top of our rectangle. We want that distance to be 1.5 inches inner okay and we want our diameter here from here to here we want that distance to be 0.125 and the same for the other side 0.125 and then inner okay I'm gonna go ahead now and just trim these inner lines right in here just because we don't need them and it cleans it up a little bit and now I'm going to come over here to my circle tool and I'm going to find the center here. See that triangle? That means you're in the center. And I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see. And then I'm going to click right there. Okay. So we're good. Now I'm going to make sure. Now let's clean it up. Let's trim that guy and that guy and dimension this. All right. So it has a diameter of or a radius of that. But let's be certain here. I'm going to come over to my tangent constraint and make that tangent to that. Okay. All right. So now we're good. Now I'm going to grab my circle tool again. And right here at the center here, I'm going to make a concentric circle that has a diameter of 0.11 inches for one of my M3 bolts. All right. Okay. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and finish my sketch. And we're going to go ahead and extrude this guy. I'm going to go ahead and click extrude. Click right here. And we want to go the other way. A distance of minus 0.125 or 1 8 of an inch. And select OK. All right. So when you're done, you end up with a part that looks just like this. OK. And to be consistent, make sure you change the appearance and material here. So come on down to let's see here plastic go to I believe it was transparent and we're gonna make it acrylic red okay and before we save it I almost forgot we got to add one more thing so we're gonna start a sketch here okay and then we're gonna come on up to our circle tool and we're gonna find this point and we're just gonna come on out and this distance we're gonna make this whole point one two five inches in diameter and we're gonna dimension it 0.693 inches 
from the center here. Let's finish our sketch and we're going to extrude it out. Okay, and now once you've cut a hole all the way through it, we're going to go ahead and do the circular pattern here. So we're going to come up to pattern, circular. Let's see if we can get away with features. We'll select that guy. And then for our axes, we can just select the circle. And we want 18 of those guys. All right. Let's go. Actually, you know what? Let's do 19 is probably good. All right. Gives us a little more options. Let's go ahead and select OK. When you're done, go ahead and save this guy as the right gear. Okay. And you're all good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.